Hello there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to show you this quick workaround for this example where we have a row of shape going off into the distance using the Toon Shader. I'm going to reduce the angle threshold to make this a bit more obvious. So you can see there are more edges in the, the distance here, and it's kind of hard to read the shapes uh, with, a, with a lot of complexity going on here. Okay, so what we can do is use a depth mask that scales directly depending on the distance from the camera. There's this written tutorial here that uh, covers how to do that, including a dust and position mask. Basically, we want to connect a state float shader to the width scaling, but we'll do it through a range shader to give us more control. Okay, so let's do that. So under width scaling, also notice if I reduce the width scaling, doesn't really help us because the widths are uniformly scaled across the entire image. So let's connect the range shader first to the width scale. Out color to edge width scale. And then the state float shader to the input of the range shader. So we go back to the range shader and enable isolate selected so we can see the effect that the range shader is having on the state float shader. And I'm going to invert the effect, so set the output min to 1 and the output max to 0. And then I'm going to in reduce the contrast, so now we can start to see the effect the state flow is having on the distance from the camera. So let's just deselect, isolate, selected, and there you have it. So now if you wanted to refine the effect even further, we could always go in and, and tweak the range shader values. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.